In this picture, you can see here a zigzag model is there for the evolution of plant immune system given by Johns and Dangle 2006. This is a very important model for the plant and pathogen interaction. By this, you can have a clear idea about how plants and pathogen interaction is going on continuously at genetic level. So, to understand this zigzag model, we must have idea about some important terminology like PTI that is pathogen triggered immunity, ETI effector triggered immunity, ETS, PAM effector, argin etc. So, we will discuss that first. Hello friends, welcome to my channel Plant Pathology Part Sala. This is Jumishri Mehe. Let's start the terminology. So the first one is PAMP or Pathogen Associated Molecular Pattern. These are some molecules that are released from the pathogen during the process of pathogenesis or infection. Example of PAMP is FLG22 and ELF18. The name only suggests that FLG means flagellin and ELF means elongation factor. So these are the main constituent of pathogen. So these are used as marker by the plant cell to recognize the pathogen. So plants, pams ko ek marker ki tarah use karta hai kiske liye? To detect the pathogen. Okay? Kyunki jab infection process start hota hai, to during interaction, ye pams like chitin or flagellin molecules release hote hai pathogen se. Okay? Then how this pathogen associated molecular patterns are recognized? These are recognized by a special type of receptor that is called pattern recognition receptors. Example of PRF are receptor like kinases that is RKLS and receptor like proteins. These are the proteins or receptor which are helpful in the recognition of PAMs. Okay. Let's assume the receptor as PAM and another one as PRR. So, if the PRR recognizes the palm, then it warns the plant that some pathogens are going to infect it. As a result, plant will activate its immune system. That type of activation of immune system is called as pattern triggered immunity or PTI, which leads to resistance in plant or disease will not develop. As this pattern triggered immunity is developed by pattern triggered recognition receptor so it is called as pattern triggered immunity these receptors are generally membrane or transmembrane receptors these are found in plasma membrane next what happens if the PRI not recognizes the PAM because pathogen may be new to the plant or plant is not having the type of PRI to recognize a new type of PAM then plant will become the susceptible to disease or disease will occur. So, overly, jab ek pathogen plant ko infect karta hai, tab kuch molecules release karta hai. That is known as PAP or pathogen associated molecular pattern. Or plant ke membrane mein kuch receptors hote hain, jise kaha jata hai PRR or pattern recognition receptors. Agar PRR PAM ko recognize kar leta hai, to रिजिस्ट डेवलप नहीं होता और रेजिस्टेंस डेवलप हो जाता है पर अगर पीआरआर पैम को रिकॉग्नाइज नहीं कर पाता है तो ससेप्टिबिलिटी कंडीशन इंड्यूस होता है और डिजीज डेवलप होता है पीटीआई को इनेट इम्यूनिटी या फर्स्ट लाइन डिफेंस या फिर बैसल इम्यूनिटी भी कहा जाता है बिकॉज़ दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ इम्यूनिटी दैट इज इंड्यूस्ड अगेंस्ट अ पैथोजन दिस इज द एंड ऑफ टुडेस वीडियो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस Effector triggered susceptibility, then effector triggered immunity, and about effectors. So, if you enjoyed my video, please like the video, subscribe my channel for more and more video. Thank you.